The city of Tampa is investing in its streetcar system. Leaders today announcing it just received the most funding of any transit system in Tampa Bay history. How about that? ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane joining us live in Tampa tonight. She explains what this could mean for the future of that downtown area. Hi there, Wendy. Hey, Wendy. So, yeah, Tampa's uh, streetcar system that started in the 1800s. Take a look at this trolley looking streetcar right here. They're about to get a whole new look and could transform into a major mass transit system. Tampa had a wonderful streetcar system that um, was um, was taken away from us after the World War II in 1945. Since the 1980s, Tampa leaders have fought to bring the streetcars back. And in the early 2000s, they did. But since then, the city has grown. One of the common themes we heard was we needed to improve our transit system. Now FDOT and HART are joining together to make it faster and more accessible. And they're doing it with a $67.3 million grant from the state that will go into the extension and modernization of the streetcars. This really is, today is a great step in transforming Tampa's tomorrow. Mayor Castor says by the year 2040, 100,000 people will be within walking distance of the streetcar system, which is why Tampa needs updated mass transit. And the new streetcar system will extend into Tampa Heights. Now, they're still waiting on some funding, some federal funding for this whole project, but they're expecting a finishing date of the end of 2026. In Tampa, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.